let's make more more exercise in solid works this is a kind of simple 3d modeling now let's check all dimensions are in millimeter material is steel a i s i okay here miss spell 304 and uh, okay this is the we have two isometric view then here we have one top view and you will see there is a section view a from here to here see this is at taper then there is one section b section b come to straight up to here then come to center then you will see bottom so there is a two type of section view so with the help of this we can make this one you will see at section a a section b b in section a a you will see these width 20 minus 35 15 mm you will observe here 15 mm okay you will see here also so first we will make this base you will see this base r15 corner radius at all and uh, center distance 60 and overall length from here to here 115 and the this angle between these two 90 degree okay and corner radius r same and at center there is a one body from one end to another end you will see the length 80 and uh, diameter 45 so i am going to select top plane sketch okay i am going to choose here a straight slot and i start one center point okay then again i am going to start with center point and draw it tapered at some angle okay again start from center point and draw something like this at angle okay now we need to select this okay let's select this outer edge hold shift key and select this all three and make relation equal look similarly let's make these two length equal okay let's define first define angle angle between these 90 degree is still select this one this one and you have to define equal equal to this divide by 2 enter okay let's define angle uh, length 60 okay one more thing line connect from here to here make sure these lines are tangent to each other select this one and make sure horizontal let's define some more distance from here to end 115 okay let's make this radius 15 say okay and see now we are getting a perfect shape it seems fully defined this sketch okay we have too many close profile activate extruded boss base feature and here we have to choose in selected contour all the close profile because there is too many profile that's why we need to choose each and every one so let's keep cursor over and select select this one also see see the inside one this side also either one option trim it but if you trim uh, you will lose many thing so just check the center one balance still let's now you will see now here let's apply end condition blind arrow is perfect direction 15 mm say okay and here we go see again choose top plane sketch activate circle and draw a same circle from origin point smart dimension 45 degree or uh, 45 mm diameter extrude and this is going to up to 80 length so keep end condition blind arrow is perfectly moving upside and distance 80 mm say okay and see this is going to add 
click keep cursor on edge and you will see the radius 15 now if you see at section there is one cutout there is a hole see here written this is the this if you see any kind of distance like this it means this distance from center line okay so this is a diameter 20 and uh, this is written through means throughout hole and at center there is one more thing you will see at this section view 40 mm length and diameter internal diameter 36 okay and 20 millimeter this is the cutout okay uh, okay this is the length of cutouts then at top you will see there is a cutout 14 length uh, 14 millimeter and depth of 10 millimeter okay i am going to choose let's say right plane a sketch activate center line draw on center line Okay, now do one thing, select this all construction line from this side, uncheck and make it line. Select these two lines, collinear, uh, I mean uh, collinear, that's fine, A smart dimension. Distance, keep cursor outside, it will show you diameter. This is going to be 20 this one 36 now let's define the length 20 and this is going to define 40 you will see this is fully defined a sketch simply go to features and activate revolve cut feature now due to this construction line this is open profile so system asks would you like the sketch to be automatically closed say yes now look system took this center line as an axis of revolution and this is going to cut up to 360 degree if you want to make half circle you can just simply write 180 and see this is going to be cut like half circle but we need complete 360 body keep end condition blind reverse any you can change the direction no matter in this case okay let me select section right plane section view and you will see the preview see now select the top face sketch now here we have one cutout so choose here center rectangle now select this circle shift key select this line tangent A smart dimension and according to drawing uh, the width shown 14 millimeter and depth shown 10 millimeter so ex activate extruded cut feature and make depth only blind depth 10 millimeter see here okay now this is what we achieved okay if you see this side see this is going to extrude 35 from bottom edge and distance from center line to this end 18 okay then there is one more cutout also 10 millimeter and distance from center to this cutout 10 millimeter and there is a 12 diameter hole then there is a two ribs uh, okay ribs see these two are ribs see the rib diameter 10 10 Select this face, sketch, convert entity. So no need to draw all the lines. Activate line and draw a line. Right click, choose select and exit, smart dimension. Now this is the center point of the circle or curve. Look, 18 millimeter. Activate trim, power trim. Just press and hold the left mouse and drag over the line. It is going to trim. You will see the extruded boss base. Now, this is already 
15 millimeter total length 35 so 35 minus 15 it's 20 millimeter that's fine select this face sketch convert entity I'm not going to draw again line trim entity power trim just press and hold left mouse and drag over line and trim okay now again the center distance 10 millimeter activate extruded cut feature but now depth how much 10 millimeter but this is going to start 10 millimeter below the surface so here I am going to use start from offset 10 millimeter see this is moving upside so simply click reverse the direction now look this is going to cut 10 millimeter below the surface and depth of cutting 10 millimeter say ok and here this is our result see hole wizard I am going to use let's say here third option hole reset metric dowel or drill size now here uncheck this one and see either this available 12 diameter and keep end condition through all position now we have to choose any face so I am going to select this face now you have to place at center so keep cursor over edge and you will see center midpoint click and press right click select exit just see the preview say ok that's fine now we have a we have to create a rib right plane section now start from this point to this point look this is fully defined a sketch there is a problem but let's activate rib now keep material thickness both side it will move equally both side total length 10 millimeter if you say yes it is not going to accept because there is this is curve this uh, surface is curve so cancel it normal view and add little bit line so this is going to cover this edge I am going to add some line something like uh, depth give some depth from your side let's say 2 millimeter don't surpass the internal wall now rib now again 10 millimeter material flow both side say ok look look due to this curve or this feature it is uh, not going to accept by solidworks this is a kind of uh, error but ok let's there is one more right plane section view uh, sorry line select this end to this end and let little bit move material inside and give for uh, even you don't need to give dimension just for a defined sketch I'm going to give dimension fully defined sketch rib look arrow move opposite direction so you have to change flip material side now it is moving inside now let's check material move both side equally here we go now there is a oblong hole 15 length internal radius r6 outside r9 and uh, now the counter bore depth 5 millimeter okay and this is lies at center of this corner so I'm going to go hole wizard and here see this option counter bore slot let's say metric size hexagon cap screw now here show custom sizing this is important if you see we don't have particular things so I am going to this one uh, M6 now now let's say M10 now internal radius 6 means diameter 12 
Now counter bore diameter radius 9, 9 into 2, it's 18. Now counter bore depth 5. Now slot length 15 millimeter. Okay, I'm right. Now dimensions is scheme from center to center. Now make end condition through all position. We have to choose any one face, so I'm going to select this face. Select here. Okay. Now select this point. Keep cursor, and you will see this. You will see this, there is a one midpoint, see, uh, or sorry, uh, the center point of this. Just move cursor over, and met. See, this is coincide. Now still, this is freely moving. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to create one important relation. Oh, not important relation. We have to center line connect with this line to this line and create important relation collinear select this line this line again not going to be defined make collinear look our drawing seems fully defined say okay see okay let me define color to this body edit appearance Okay, 91, 87, 255, okay, and uh, I am going to select white color so it looks uh, more practical now let's make this one mirror so right plane mirror and here see right plane selected feature to mirror directly choose this one you will see the preview say okay and here we go then one more hole is balanced now at this point there is a hole see this one this is just uh, perpendicular to this or parallel to this. You will observe from here. 10 diameter hole, 40 distance from bottom. So how you can do this? Okay. Let me select right plane. Activate here plane. Okay. And select this face. Angle. Look, this is going to be 45 degree. Let's flip. Flip offset. See? Because uh, we need to create hole on this plane. Say okay. See? La let's select the plane. Sketch. Circle. And draw one circle. Smart dimension, distance 40, diameter 10. Look, it's still not defined. So select the center point and select the center point of hole, horizontal. Look, it is fully defined, this sketch. Activate extruded cut feature. And in this case, I am going to select here up to next up to next means this is going to cut only up to internal wall let's uh, highlight this by a color change hide see if i'm going to choose section view this is going to show by see this is what we achieved don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.